The Prince of Wales is said to have made his point about Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's Netflix documentary as he said he would never watch it, while also telling his friends to not fuel the conflict by retaliating to any barbs from the show. William is said to be less interested in engaging in a tit-for-tat conflict with the Duke and Duchess of Sussex and more concerned with looking to the future and getting on with the job. Despite their disagreements, the two couples will still send Christmas gifts to the kids of each other, however, there will be no gift exchanging between the adults. According to a close friend of Prince William, he says he will never watch it and I know he definitely won't, according to the Sunday Times. A second source confirmed the claim as being correct. Another friend claimed that although the royal family is known to be monitoring the news, the king and queen would not watch the six-part series either. To better understand what he and Meghan have gone through, Harry had hoped that his brother and his father, King Charles, would watch the docuseries. Royal insiders have labeled Meghan's assertions that she was totally unprepared for life as a royal as total lies. The Duchess of Sussex claimed in the series that she did not know what a walkabout was, that she had to look up the national anthem on Google, and that she did not know how to curtsy. She embarrassingly demonstrated her inability to do so while giving a demonstration, much to the obvious displeasure of her husband. However, a royal source revealed to the Sunday Times that six months before to their wedding, Meghan was given a 30-point dossier about her future career by Harry's then-private secretary Ed Lane Fox, along with a list of professionals who may assist her. Another claim that has been cast into doubt is that Meghan was told she couldn't invite her niece Ashley Hale, the daughter of her estranged half-sister Samantha Markle, to her wedding. That just didn't happen, a source told the paper. We never gave any advice, steer or guidance on who of her family or friends should or shouldn't come to her wedding. I have a very clear memory of her, Meghan, saying that she had a niece who she would in other circumstances have liked to invite but she didn't want to invite her because it would have put her under intense scrutiny. The part of the Doka series said to have upset Prince William the most, according to friends, was Harry's suggestion that his brother married Catherine because she fits the mold rather than for love. Harry said in the documentary, I think for so many people in the family, especially obviously the men, there can be a temptation or an urge to marry someone who would fit the mold as opposed to somebody who you perhaps are destined to be with. The difference between making decisions with your head, or your heart. And my mum certainly made most of her decisions, if not all of them, from her heart. And I am my mother's son. In episode 2, Megan also recalled her difficult first encounter with William and Catherine, and in the second volume's teaser, Harry appears to be snubbing his brother once more by forgetting to include the Prince and Princess of Wales in any of the numerous wedding images that flashed up on the screen. Nearly half of Britons believe that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex should lose their titles as a result of the couple's attacks on British institutions while discussing their experiences, including racism, in the television series. According to a poll by the Mail on Sunday, 44% of respondents believe they need to lose their titles, while only 19% disagree. A similar proportion, 42% think Harry should be excluded from the line of succession, with 23% disagreeing. Nearly one-third, 28%, think they should be disallowed from attending the coronation of King Charles III, with 31% disagreeing.